So if you wanna get into the PC reselling business, there's been a few videos coming out lately from my channel, uh, also another few tech tubers have done some videos of their own. And one in particular you guys were telling me about in the last 24 hours, uh, that was Random Gaming in HD, where he uh, sold four PCs over three weeks and his profits were really bad. Now, honestly, me personally, I watched the video and I appreciate the way he's marketing things. I think a lot of people in the tech tubing space would appreciate his ad and the honesty in there. Though, you can still be honest and put your product in, show it in the best kind of way possible. So today we're gonna go through this ad and also go through the PC itself and I'm just gonna give my opinion on the ad and also the PC itself and things that I would do differently on both of these. So let's get into this juicy video and see what's up. And also for the record, I like RG and HD a lot and make sure you like his video too. So firstly, we're gonna go through the PC itself and things that I would do differently and he's basically got a budget of 250 pounds, which would be close to around 300 USD, give or take. And so what you're looking at here is a dual core Athlon 3000G. Now this has the GPU portion built in, but the problem is, is that it doesn't have that strong a graphics performance. Even something like a GTX 750 Ti, which you could get in on this budget, would beat this uh, GPU by quite a bit. And the next thing that they've done in this PC that I would do differently would be they've used the dual core, which we should be using a four core, even if it's an older i5, people uh, like that fact that it's got four cores over two cores. Even though it's got four threads, it's only got two cores. And people think of that in, especially in 2020, as a real big negative. Now I'll go over to the RAM. Eight gigabytes of DDR4 memory is actually really good at this price point, 3000 megahertz. If anything, we'll get onto the ad soon, but that should be a strong point that uh, RG is really focusing on in the ad. Though for what it's worth, he's also put it in dual channel, which is really good. And you want that on an Athlon 3000G. Now, of course the Vega 3 iGPU graphics, that's tied in with the CPU itself, making it an APU. Uh, that's nothing special but he also does show the uh, fps performance of this at the end of the video and it does do around 60 fps at 720p uh, the next thing is done here that i would do different i do a lot different personally is he's added in quite a good power supply this is a be quiet system power 9 500 watt uh, psu now these uh, power supplies themselves they're great for things like rtx 2070 supers ryzen 5 3600 combos but on this budget you can really get away with the budget 350 watt power supply and people really aren't gonna care a whole lot. So you could have saved yourself some money there. And also the next thing here is he's put in a 480 gigabyte SSD. Now these are a little bit expensive and you can definitely get away with even like a 120 gigabyte SSD and a second hand 500 gigabyte hard drive. This is a very popular combo for something, say at least in Australia, under 500 Aussie dollars or under 300 US. This is uh, absolutely fine. People are gonna look at 480 gigabyte SSD and they're probably not even gonna know a lot of the times what an SSD is versus a standard hard drive. And I know you guys watching out there in the audience, you're gonna be like, what, scratching your head? But we'll talk about that soon when it comes to the marketing side of things. But the next thing is done here is used a Zygmatech Eros uh, RGB mid tower case. This is really nice. I like this case. I think this is the probably the best component of the whole build. And that's because it's, I know for a fact, Zygmatech over in the UK uh, deliver some hard value when it comes for cases. So it's got a bit of RGB bling. It's got that rear exhaust fan all included. I'm guessing the price point of this case is really good too. So for the case, he's absolutely nailed it. And also for the motherboard at this price point, if you're going with a budget AMD build, you can definitely go with an A320 and they're going to do absolutely fine. And I've already tested even the likes of a Ryzen 5 3600 on an A320 and it does perfectly fine. Now the build cost of this PC was around 250 pounds, but the build cost is actually kind of irrelevant as opposed to the final sale price. What people are prepared to pay for a gaming PC that performs at X level. So what we're looking at here is something that'll perform better, for example, that I know off the top of my head 
will perform better but cost me less to put together. So for instance, I'd put together something like maybe an i5-3470. We've now got four cores. We can market that a little bit harder. I'd also leave the RAM at eight gigabytes in dual channel and then also look at something like an H61 motherboard. And then for the GPU, go with the GTX 960 and something like a 350 watt power supply. Then for the drives, as we said before, go with a 120 gigabyte SSD, 500 gigabyte hard drive. If you can't find a 120 gigabyte SSD or they're too expensive, at the moment, this is a special thing related to CV, I would go with just maybe a one terabyte hard drive. So now something like this from my experience would cost under 200 pounds to put together and we could sell it for around the same price point of 300 pounds, making our profit over 100 pounds per pop. So if he sold four of these PCs, he would then have made 400 pound. At least that's just my recommendation and what I'd have in experience to reselling PCs. He also said in the video that he had to sell online and pay online fees as well as shipping costs and that brought his profits down dramatically where he was only making around seven pounds a pc which is roughly 10 us dollars a pc which really isn't worth the time especially if you've got to guarantee that and go through the risk of having that getting returned if the buyer gets it and there's a problem the last pc he almost sold at a 10 percent discount but still made much more profit of 26 pounds versus the seven because he didn't have to pay any shipping fees or he didn't have to pay any online seller website fees. So before we move on to the ad, the best thing you can do here is sell locally if you can. You're going to maximize your profits as well as minimize your headaches. On top of that, you've got control of everything going on. As opposed to eBay, you don't know who you're selling to and you don't know what kind of stuff they could make up. And when it comes to online selling, I've definitely seen my fair share of over the years. So get the best deals, sell locally. Let's get on to the next part, and that is advertising this PC. That I quickly wrote up, and we'll go over this and some of the strong points of everything that I feel makes this ad uh, much better than the original. And let's go first off. Are you after a PC that comes in at a very good price point? So straight away, we're saying that this 200 or 300 pound price point that Random Gaming is advertising at is a very good price point. So straight away, we're starting off the bat with positivity. We then move on to and can play games at 60 FPS on HD graphics. Now, believe it or not, HD is actually 720p and 1080p is full HD. Though, of course, HD graphics sounds amazing. 60 FPS sounds solid too, especially at this price point. And then we put in the brackets games like Fortnite and CSGO. So we have excluded Overwatch and that's because people who generally play Blizzard games, uh, know how to build a PC, so there's no point even advertising that. Most people are gonna come for CSGO and Fortnite much more than they would come in for Overwatch, so we're just gonna stick with those two games. And again, we're gonna keep the clutter in this ad to a minimal. Uh, that's another thing too, we don't wanna confuse the buyer. Sometimes less is more, but let's continue on. Are you also after a PC with all new components and a solid upgrade path? So again, we're focusing on the advantages here. From what I see in the video, it is all new components, I don't think Random Gaming touched on this, uh, whether or not he did touch on this, but we're also saying, look, it's got that solid upgrade path, and which it does. And if so, then this is the PC for you, and Windows is pre-installed, ready to go, so you just come pick it up and plug the PC up, and you are gaming instantly. Again, focusing on that commodity that we talked about before, this PC is just ready to go, everything's good, comes with Windows pre-installed. Now let's quickly just move over to the specs here. We've got CPU and GPU Athlon 3000G. It's authentic AMD 2C 4 thread. So basically what we've done here, we've added the adjective authentic. It makes people think like, oh wow, this is, this is authentic, right? So yeah, that's what AMD called their CPUs. I think Intel say genuine Intel. So we're saying authentic AMD 2C. Notice how we're not saying two cores or we're not focusing too much on the negative here. We're just keeping it to a minimal 2C and then the big capital T, 4T, with Vega 3 graphics on board. So we're just telling you what it is. This isn't the strong point of the ad. So we're just pretty much quickly blazing over it. We're not missing out any details, but again, we're focusing on the strengths in our ad rather than the negatives. Uh, moving on to the RAM, we've got eight gigabytes DDR4, 3000 megahertz. This is nice stuff. We've got it in dual channel for smooth gaming. So that's another point that's strong about this build. Uh, we're going on to the case here, Zygmatech RGB case with RGB rear exhaust fan and clear side panel. 
bang, we're hitting the mark with that. SSD, huge, and we're using that adjective, huge, 480 gigabyte SSD for loading up your systems and games lightning fast. Spec after spec, we're just positive, 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 focusing on what this can do rather than what it can't do. But here, let's go, power supply. True 500 watt, be quiet, 80 plus power supply with connectors for powerful graphics card upgrades. We don't even have to give any examples, we're just saying, look, it can upgrade with this power supply, you've got options. Motherboard, same deal. A320M gigabyte motherboard with the latest BIOS, so you can upgrade to even a Ryzen 5 3600 six core 12 thread if you wish to, and that's that's the truth, you can. Uh, then we move over to the OS, Windows 10 X64 Pro activated. I don't know if he used home or pro, he didn't really state that in the video, but we'll just go with that. And then uh, we've got here last, if you have any questions, then be sure to send me a message. I also guarantee my systems for three months. This is super important, guaranteeing your systems is really important because people then feel safe with you. They know you're good to go with as opposed to other people. They don't wanna risk getting hosed or losing their money. So this is important. This is why I do three month guarantees, really sets the buyer at ease and just make sure that they're gonna get a good gaming experience. Uh, though lastly, if you have any problems, just send me a message, you're in safe hands, price is firm, trade-ins on your old desktop will also be considered. Please send some photos first. Contact me here or on the phone number for more information, done. And with all that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and also Random Gaming, I wish you all the best in reselling PCs in the future. Love to uh, watch the update videos and keep them coming. Good stuff. Just like this question of the day here, which comes from Jacob Leishman, and they ask, what do you do when old motherboards don't have USB 3 headers? And this is a good one because even some H81 motherboards don't come with USB 3 headers. So if it's H81 and, and newer, I usually use a USB 2 to USB 3 adapter. They're pretty cheap, you can get them for like a dollar. If it's a really old PC build and it's a really budget PC build and there's already two USB 2s on the front, then I just go with uh, leaving the USB 3 connector out. And no one seems to care. I just tell them, look, one of the front three USB ports doesn't work and they don't care either. So it's one of those things just like tying back to this video, if you're transparent about things but you just focus on the positive, then you will have some good success. So I think uh, Random Gaming with starting out this business sort of focused on the negative straight away and that's one thing you just don't do. Remember, if you don't back yourself and your product, then who else will? So you've got to be your biggest backer, you've got to believe in yourself and if you do that, then you're destined for some better profits at the very least. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this one and if you stayed this far and you're enjoying that content, and the sub button's down there. Don't forget to ring that bell to see the content as soon as it drops, and I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now, bye.